Welcome to Jerry's Gene Scene. I looked out my front door and spotted a large hare, and thinking about it led me down the proverbial information rabbit hole. What do we know about the basic biology and genetics of seasonal color change? What about the adaptations and the selection process? Can my basic biology knowledge help me through? Where I live, there are two species of large hares with somewhat overlapping ranges, the white-tailed jackrabbit and the snowshoe hare. What are the distinguishing features that tell them apart? Although they run up my street with a zigzag motion like the snowshoe hare, based on the elongated face and the long ears with dark tips, these are white-tailed jackrabbits. Here's what I know about winter coats. There's an old saying about horses, fall fur out and spring hair in. Photoperiodism is considered the most dominant environmental cue allowing animals to anticipate and adapt to seasonal changes. I'm not doing a whole thesis here. Suffice to say that the eye receives the light, the pineal gland interprets the length of the daylight, signaling the melatonin production which influences other hormones related to timing the reproductive cycle and to shedding, the molt cycle. I knew one of the first real cat breeds known as the Siamese resulted from selecting a kitten born in the 15th century with interesting coloration. Genetic studies tell us that it is a temperature sensitive mutation. The warmer parts of the body remain light, the outer cooler parts become dark. Seasonal changes is related to that same biochemical pathway, but it is not the temperature sensitive mutation. No, instead, seasonal variation is associated with SNPs on the agouti gene. Yes, that same gene, the much studied one relative to epigenetics. In jackrabbits, the agouti gene is found on chromosome 4. Jackrabbits are generally nocturnal, but always alert. In their crouched and hidden position, their eyes see almost 360 degrees. They maintain a higher body temperature and metabolic rate uh, during the winter than in the summer. These guys don't wait around much to be photographed. One recent review of the literature laments that the white-tailed jackrabbit is understudied despite its wide distribution, ecological importance as a prey species, and the economic importance in some areas as a game animal. You can find a link to this paper below and uh, as hard as they are to see in the winter snow, come spring, as the days become longer, photoperiodism signals the spring molt and the white-tailed jackrabbit continues to blend into its environment. I saw this moth hiding on the bricks of a building, and it reminded me that the peppered moth is the standard textbook example of directional evolution. Do you think that selection that the selection of the seasonal variation in hairs is also an example of directional evolution? Let me know in the comments below. Do take advantage of the natural history in your area. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more Jerry's Gene Scene, hit the subscribe button. Check out my genetics explainer list for more genetics information. I'm Jerry Ward, and I'm at genomealberta.ca.